Namaste. Welcome to Powerhouse to Roll. I'm Energy Goddess. Welcome to my little growing abundant, prosperous YouTube. On my YouTube, I like to do different spiritually related videos and content. If that's your thing, make sure you hit the subscription button down below. As well as the post notifications so you're always alerted when I am uploading to the channel. Namaste. What's good, y'all? All right. Let's get into it. We got channel messages here. What do I need to see here, Holy Spirit? What is it that I need to see? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Show me the messages here. Sudden wealth. Somebody could be getting some money. Some type of money is rolling in. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me get some more light. Hold on. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> I ain't that ain't gonna work. That's a little better. This is better. Damn. Well, just unplug it. Why don't you? Somebody about to get some sort of sudden wealth. <clears throat> There's some sort of wealth coming in here. I feel like somebody's like spirit guys are looking out for them or something with this owl card. But I'm actually going to take this message out of the book for this one in particular. Anything else here, Holy Spirit? Is there anything else? Okay. Yeah, there's some sort of sudden wealth coming to somebody. This could be like coming in the form of like um, some sort of court proceedings or something like that. This is like legally going to be your money or something like that. This follows a court proceeding or something to do with like legally obtaining um, this wealth. Okay. Yeah, it's like a lot of buzz around someone's name. A lot of people talking about this money. Because a lot of people probably expecting that this money is going to come to someone. But it's for it's for you, Collective. Yeah, we have thoughts. Somebody has their hopes up high. Like it's theirs and it's not. It's yours. Just period. Then we have out the book. So something could be going by the book or something could be going like, remember I said court legally, all of that stuff like that. Like when they talk about court, like the proceedings, the procedures, all of whatever the fuck they be doing, it take a long time. Like it's the whole process and they have to go through a certain type of process, right? And a court system, right? That's what they saying. I'm getting with this book message. I'm going to look that one up too. Okay. So I do see that. I'm going to go ahead and grab the tarot messages after I find out what this uh, number 12 is. Okay. So, yeah, this is a call, a text, some sort of communication about this money. Like I was saying, this is communication. I didn't know if the what the communication was. I thought it was spirit, guys. But there's some sort of communication that's coming in. So, somebody could be waiting on, like, a particular call, mail, um, but some sort of communication. So, this could come in any type of communication, a text message. Um, email, um, letter in the mail, certified mail, you know, stuff like that. Like, you know how they subpoena you or something to court? So this could be like, I'm getting something like that. Somebody subpoenaing somebody to court. Cause it's like, they couldn't find somebody. They like, everybody sees this person. Everybody know about this person, but who the courts, right? Can't find this person to give them this sudden wealth. <clears throat> and we have the book. Let me look up the book. Number 26. The 
the book of knowledge, the book of secrets. What our house is education and private. I may be your project or your research and sometimes your studies and journals. Watch out for cards around me because with the sun, you will see right through me. I am hidden. I am unknown, but occasionally, occasional knowledge I might learn. Yeah, something somebody needs to know. That's what this card signifies. It signifies that you need to know something. This is what I'm saying. It's like all of these people. It's like it could even be like a group of people that know you're supposed to. Like, and I'm getting that these are, hold on. I'm getting literally these are like court people or people like in the judicial system. And they know of you. They know of you. So did you have a bad reputation or some shit like that or a previous encounter or something like that that maybe like put some sort of, I don't know, something around your name and like people know of you though. And they like, you you can't find this person? They like, damn. This is what the people saying. They like, the people like, damn, they, they don't know that this money is waiting for them. So the people won't even say nothing. They just thinking about it. They like, it's like some people, honestly, they'd rather see people suffer because they not getting it. The sudden wealth that's coming in to you right now is not theirs. It's coming to you. And so that's the that's like I said, that's the problem. That's the problem here for somebody. Okay? My bad, I had to text somebody that. That's the problem. This is important news coming to you. That's what the fuck this card says. It draws attention to power, knowledge, and the importance of possessing it. The card may suggest that somebody something needs to know. Okay? However, this will become apparent with the pro with the presence of the cards around it. This is what I was saying. <clears throat> Woo! Child. This is what I was talking about. This that good message. I knew y'all had one for me, spirit. <laughs> Woo! Let's get it to it! Let's <laughs> get it to it. Holy Spirit, thank you to the message of the um, concerns this particular reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh, and the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Something is taking their damn time getting to you. This shit is taking its time to get to you. This sudden well, somebody could have been waiting on this. Or somebody just could have been waiting on an opportunity. Like, damn, when the fuck is my fucking ships coming in? For real. <laughs> Fell right up under the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, fell right up under sudden well. This shit, it's like, it's slow to come in. It's, it's very gradual or it's very... They, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. They can't find whoever that this money belongs to. If they could find this person, it's like people might know how to find this person. But somebody's, I feel like somebody is like trying to see if this money is going to expire. If they can make it like so this person could lose the money by not telling them. You know, all kind of shit. Like people like that. People be like that. That's why they're just thinking instead of reacting. Somebody's just, it's in their thoughts. They know about this shit, but they're not going to say anything. Because it's not theirs. It's sudden wealth. This will put you above them in pay grade. So that's why there's a lot of energies that don't want you to get this. This is why a lot of energy is keeping a secret from you. You are already spiritually above these people. I can feel that. Because why the fuck they keeping the sudden wealth from you? Four of Swords. I can't make this shit up. You're going to have the life that you've always dreamed of. You're probably somebody who already creating. Right now, you're somebody who already, you're, you're in the works of creating a soft life, if not already living a soft life right now. This is going to, this is the type of wealth that makes, like, people could, like, you going to live good, like, for generations. Like, this is that type of money. Sudden wealth. Like instantly, like you hit the jackpot with this shit. And you see this card? Like you hit the jackpot. And it's a lot of people out there that did you wrong or could have helped out or could have, you know, and they didn't. 
but you made your life into like it's like you made your life into a good situation from whatever that you might have came from. And I'm not saying you came from nothing like a fucked up situation or you know, I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying whatever you made it, whatever you came from, you made it out of a situation. And it's like you already is in motion with the wealth that's coming to you because it's like when the wealth comes to you, it's like it's going to make it so that all of the things that you always wanted to do, you're able to do it now. And not only just for yourself, but for other people. Like that type of power. Wealth, you know what I'm saying? That's power. That's straight up fucking power. And people don't want you to have that. The Hierophant. Then I tell you, these people is in the court system. These people are tradition, also traditional thinkers. You could be like a spiritualist or something like that. And people like... Like, say you read cards or some, something like that, right? P people, like, when you tell them what your profession is, like, a lot of people who envy you or envy people who read cards because they don't have that um, in them to, like, you know, face their fears of speaking and all kind of things, right? They despise all of the work that it took for you to, like, become that. So, like, people will hate on that instead of admiring what it took for you to become that. You understand what I'm saying? So, it builds up envy around these people's hearts. You know what I'm saying? They heart heavy as fuck. You know what I mean? But it's nothing they can do. This is yours, a hierophant. It's yours. Just period. This was sent so that you can finally break traditions. Like, you could have came from a line of people who, like, you're going to be, like, the first to receive something like this. Like, nobody you know got money like this. And, like, if they is people you know, it's, like, people who cut themselves off from everybody else. Like, once they receive this type of money. You know what I'm saying? Ace of Swords. I can't make this shit up. I'm trying to tell you. You could be somebody who, like, you, like I said, really just read cards, tell people the truth, you know, shit like that. You don't even got to be somebody that read cards. You could just be somebody who is really in truth. Because of the life that you live, it's brought you a lot of clarity and you're able to just really give sound advice. You're able to really just assist with people, um, you know, helping people see clearly, just period, in any given situation. You know what I'm saying? You could just be somebody who gives advice. You ain't even got to read no cards necessarily, right? But I'm getting a spiritual, you know, somebody spiritual, um, spiritually inclined like that, like reads cards, you know, knows about these types of divination and practices like on some real shit. That's what I'm getting. Somebody knows. And I feel like the people who knows about this sudden wealth are like, I want to say like they deputies or like they like sheriffs or like, like cops, like, like people like that. When, when I see the, the courthouse, and what I'm seeing, it's like official people with like badges. You know what I'm saying? Like they know about this shit. And when I say sheriff, it's like, you know, because they work with like the, the clerk's office and stuff like that and paperwork and all of that shit. And so somebody knows because people can't hold water. They just like anybody else just because they be cops and official people, stuff like that. They just like anybody else. They can't hold water. So they've been talking. They've been talking amongst themselves like, yo, you heard about so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, a lot of them know about this, this money. This is this is something sitting like dead ass in like a clerk hall or some shit like, yo. Somebody better go check and see if they got some money waiting on them. Per this reading, for real. I'm not even four cars in. Like, I, I kid you not. Let me know about this message here, Holy Spirit. Got yeah, the six of fucking pentacles. This is why this happening. The Hierophant is saying it fell on top of the Hierophant. The Hierophant is saying this happened because of the generosity that you showed to other people. You see, now, mind you, the Hierophant. I don't know if y'all can see this image, but the Hierophant here, this is a Ouija board in front of him. He reading a Ouija board. This is what I'm saying. You are a cultist or of some sort. Even if you just read about occult, occult knowledge and things of that nature, you're some somehow spiritual. And because of your excellence and like 
you know, your stature and just what you stand for. You know what I'm saying? That this is why this is coming to you. It's because of what you stand for. You stand for something. You're not afraid to give charity. You give back freely. Freely to the universe. Money is just currency. You're not one of those people that spend money like, oh, in the scarcity mindset. Oh, I'm scared to spend this money because I ain't going to get it back. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's like you living your life and you living this shit for real. That's why this is coming to you. I'm trying to tell you the universe blesses those. You know what I'm saying? Who bless themselves. Like, come on now. Universe, look out for us. On some real shit. The universe is always conspiring for our greater good. God is always conspiring for our greater good. You got to understand that. And this is your reward for your obedience. Honestly. This is just your reward for your obedience. This is why the tower coming in. You understand me? The tower coming in is big change. This is unseen change. Change you didn't expect. This what I didn't I just say that somebody is not expecting this, my guy. My girl. You wasn't even fucking expecting this. You over here minding your business, living your best life. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't already set out to live the life that you wanted to live. This is just going to be an extra added bonus onto what you're doing already. You're already walking the right path. That's why now it's ready for you because now you're walking in that path. King of Wands. I'm telling you, you're a leader in the public. You're a public figure. You lead people through your own passions, your own, just like, fuck all that talk and let me show you how I do this shit. Like, that type of person. Seven of Pentacles. You work really hard. People see that shit. That's why I said a lot of people might even know you. I don't know to say you got a bad reputation or not, but it's like, either they know you by your rep reputation somehow, though. Seven of Pentacles. They know you by what you do for work. Ten of swords in fucking reverse. Okay? All of the tough cycles and shit that you really... Not saying you're not going to experience anymore, but for the most part, all tough cycles and things like that shit, those hard knock lessons and stuff that we had to go through, you like ended that shit out. It's, this is ten of swords in fucking reverse. Like you done did all of those things. You know what I'm saying? This ten of swords, remember I told you that those people that know about this situation and about this money that's really yours, this is their ten of swords. This isn't my collector's ten of swords who this message is for, okay? I need y'all to know that. This is their ten of swords because they have been hiding this information from you. And even though they might not like you, they might not care for you or none of that shit, like, but right is right, wrong is wrong, like... You know what I'm saying? Somebody just is really fucked up. These are fucked up people. And they exist everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. Ten of Wands. I can't make this shit up. They exist every fucking where. These people are burdened. They These people, that's what I'm talking about. This is the main shit. These are people that walk around with a badge. Come to people's house. For domestic violence calls all day. This and that fights, arguments, showing up, da, 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 risking their life, right? And so they're supposed to uphold the law and, and be good, you know, people, right? In general, right? But they not. And they heart because of that shit is heavy as shit. These are people that hold up a badge and... Child, they just as dirty as the criminal they arresting. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Like, for real, for real. Real bad. These people are not good people. Just period. So that's why somebody need to go. You need to go and check. Because somebody got something for you. Somebody put something in your name. There is something in your name. In your name. Denial. I can't make this shit up. They like, damn. The only reason they won't tell this person that they got this shit is because it's you. You don't understand. That's the denial around it. They like, damn, anybody could receive this shit, but not you. They feel like you don't deserve it. 
and they in denial. That's why they in the ten of motherfucking swords, the ten of motherfucking wands. That shit is heavy. Heavy. That ain't no sin against nobody else. That's their own sin against they self. Mm, 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 mm. Child. That be their own heart. Because they know that ain't right. For real. They knew if it was them, they wouldn't want it done. You feel me? Purpose. Didn't I tell you? You and your life purpose. This is why they hate on you so bad. Didn't I tell you with this um, hier the Hierophant card, he got this Ouija board? You somebody is spiritual and people don't like that about you. They probably call you all kind of shit like the devil. I don't know. A witch. I don't know. Something crazy. Something stupid. Something completely fucking ridiculous because... You're amazing, whoever this reading is for. And I, I can feel it. That's why they hate you so much. That's why they despise you. Because you're in your life purpose. These are people that's doing a job that they hate. They don't even like it. If it wasn't for their friends, their group of friends, they wouldn't even do it. They hate this shit. They be disgusted doing this shit. Seriously. Some of the smells, they, some of the things they see, like they fucking hate that shit. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Humor. You somebody too who smiles a lot. You somebody who sees you would be in a fucked up position and you would still crack a smile. Because it's like, you don't never let nothing get you down. You don't never let nothing just zap you. You know what I'm saying? Take all of your fucking energy and just deplete you. You've been through tough shit. That goddamn show tried to break you. I ain't saying that bullshit. Okay? Because you wouldn't be in purpose like this if you didn't. But... Okay, you overcome shit with a smile on your face. You overcome shit with positive energy and on some real shit. That been really how you've been floating through life. Like I told you with that six of pentacles message. That's how you spend money. Look how you spend money. Like be so happy, so cheerful, even though you ain't even spending a lot. Might not even be spending that much. Right. But you just like the feeling of happiness. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't got no scarcity mindset. Like your mind is set. Yo, didn't I tell you the first beginning compliment that I gave you? You somebody who lives and walks in excellence. This is why. This is coming to you now. Because no other time were you ready for this. No other time. Till right now, surrender, okay? Somebody about to surrender. I'm telling you, somebody could come forward ready to surrender this fucking money. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody, they waiting on this date. It's like a date to surrender. Like this person has this amount of time to come in and surrender. Or this person has this amount of time to come in and like come and get that. You know what I'm saying? So they waiting. So there could be like... A time constraint around this money. So I want y'all to be very aware that you're not here by coincidence if you happen to stumble on this live, okay? Because I don't know for who it's for, but it's for somebody. And I need to get this message out. Spirit's been on me. I was just going to go on ahead and just cook my little food and just go on, take it in, you know, for the night. But I said, let me be obedient to spirit, Okay. And Spirit needed me to come on here and give y'all this message. So like I said, I don't know who. I don't need to know your name. I just got to give y'all this message. There's something specific about this surrender in time. They say in time. Like somebody please go down there and go check. I don't know if you can call. I don't know if you have to go down there. I don't know. But please see. What's it going to hurt you? So what if you go home with the same amount of money you had in your pocketbook? So fucking what? That's what you walked in there with. You ain't no poor, right? But damn it, if you went down there and found out it was something. Now you now you be richer then. You then you be like, oh, oh, thank you, energy. Energy, you was right as the motherfucker. Y'all better go check out Powerhouse Tarot. Then that's what it's gonna be then and shit, right? 
So I'm trying to tell you, don't don't procrastinate because it, I feel like they're telling me, Spirit is telling me that there's something about time, yo. And that's important. I got to tell you that. Somebody gonna go down there in the nick of time. Like, I ain't even fucking kidding you. Somebody gonna think I'm bullshitting and ain't gonna. And then at the last minute, somebody gonna go down there and then they gonna be like, oh my God, did you know that you, um, you only had like 24 hours or 48 hours and they were gonna surrender this money back to whoever sent this or whatever the fuck. I'm telling you, yo, like I could see this shit. Like, for real, somebody, for real, my man, like real peace did not tell you because you in this vibration of peace pure peace that's what happens when you are in vibration and alignment with yourself and your universe do you understand me it brings you peace you released a lot of negative energy that was within you and around you i got rid of that shit not saying everything was negative but all of that shit that didn't serve you my child okay yeah, expectations. These people got this expectation on this fuck, on this motherfucking money. These people waiting. Somebody could be looking out a window like waiting, like damn, or just like keep checking in on this. Somebody keep checking in and looking like damn. This, did they claim it yet? It's like it's a bet or something. They might even got like a bet going. Like yo, this person's so fucking stupid. They not gonna get it. They so psychic or they so this or they so that. Why the fuck they don't know that this money here? I swear to God, yo, you better go and claim that fucking money, yo. Y'all got me about ready to go to the goddamn uh, co uh, county clerk's. Is that what y'all said? County clerk office, they said. Shit. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. I don't know. We got to figure out where is in places. It's some something to do with court. And court is like county, you know. All of that shit. Woo! <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Unexpected income. Get the fuck out of here. Stop playing with these fucking cards. Some of these motherfuckers bet it. They said, I, if I was dead or if I was on my last breath, I still wouldn't tell this motherfucker. They so mad about this unexpected income that's coming in towards you, collective. They are so bitter. Because they got to fucking work hard for the shit that they got. And I'm talking about real hard. You know what I'm saying? Some of these motherfuckers got bad health. Bills. All kind of shit that they got to fucking deal with. And that's why they don't want you to have it. They perpetrate a life like they living so good. And they not. These people living paycheck to paycheck. They ain't got no shit. They ain't got no money. They ain't got no real money. No real security. On some real shit. You know, I say bad health. It's not even like a physical health. It's more like a mental health. These people have mental health issues. Because who in their right mind? Who in their right mind going to keep it from somebody? Because even if I wasn't getting nothing, I'd be like, hey, I'm going to tell you just so. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would make me feel good. Like, yo, I'm going to just tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Somebody got to be mentally sick, right? I'm just getting somebody sick mentally. These could be like a lot of like it. And you know, like how when you hang out with your friends, like usually your friends not going to be the one to tell you. You know, oftentimes. It be your friends and your loved ones and the people close to you. They won't keep it real with you. But a stranger will keep it realer with you. You feel me? Somebody you don't know will keep it realer with you. Because like your friends, your family, they don't want to hurt your feelings. They don't, They just want to get along to get along. Because they don't just want to disrupt the relationship that we have. Right? And so family and, and friends, like we, we tend to lie to each other a little bit. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. This is just real chat. You know what I'm saying? Or take it a little gentler with each other. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, we be trying to not to step on each other's toes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can maintain these relationships and stuff instead of just really... You know? Because some of these relationships don't do us no good when we can't keep it real with each other. Like, that's just for real. You know what I'm saying? And, 
if you that type of friend that you know you're going to keep it real with your, your homie, you know what I'm saying? Kudos to you. You the real one. Salute to you. You know what I'm saying? But not everybody operate that way. You got to understand that. That's what keep these people in bad health. Didn't I tell you mentally? These people are bogged down by their secrets. Not just the secret that they know about you and it's money. That they wager in a bet, which is so fucked up. Because it's like, damn, they wager in a bet, a friendly bet amongst each other against you. Like, ain't that some shit? Like, damn, people just be fucked. People be fucked up, y'all. So I need more here, Holy Spirit. If there's anything else for this message, it relates. Yeah, I'm telling you, Fox. It's like, it's somebody that can be trusted. These are individuals that cannot be trusted. Like, I promise you. And these are, like, official people, like I said, like, walk around with a badge. And so you would think, right? Like, they for, they for us, right? Whether they got on a badge or not, y'all still humans. Like, let's not get it twisted, right? But can't be trusted. Can't be trusted. Damn. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look at this. Touch a four leaf clover. Yo, when I tell you, yo, somebody about to get lucky, yo. This is your lucky fucking day. Good thing I came with this message. This is your lucky fucking day. I promise you. Somebody uh, uh, masculine might come in and tell you some type of good news or something. So tell me what this message means. Because this is what I'm getting. This is like a four-leaf clover. Like, this is all good luck. Like, luck is on your side. 33 in the room when I said that. 9.07 on the clock. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Whoever this message is for, you have no idea. How much I'm here to tell you okay I bring luck and happiness I make things better and as long as there is a negative car after me I will turn difficulties to opportunity I am the nice surprise and happy size okay that's what the fuck this card is okay Psh, nice surprise happy size fuck I okay a little sigh of relief a little sigh of feels better right mm -hmm. yeah 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 but talk about collective you're gonna have to be persistent about this shit don't give up on this idea do not sleep on this unexpected income this is an unexpected income that's going to bring you sudden wealth do you hear me collective i don't want to beat the message i hope y'all got me i love y'all so much i'm gonna come back on the next one Love y'all. Peace.